This is the story of two kingdoms, Idu and Abonabo. It was about a hundred years ago that the pioneer leaders of Idu fought to separate themselves from the rule of their mother kingdom, Abonabo. Ever since that forceful separation, Idu became the envy of their mother kingdom because it seemed like the gods moved out with them. They succeed in everything they do. To the people of Abonabo, especially their king, Idu kingdom takes the light from them. And every day that breaks, they seek to force them back into Abanab. Yes, our land is good. Yes, our land is good. My son. Father. If I join my ancestors now, I have been living with understanding that I already taught you all you need to know as the next king of Hindu kingdom. Yes, you have, Father. But you were talking as if you are... Don't move too fast, my son. <laughs> I am not dying yet. Something is happening to Idu kingdom, especially the men in castle. That's the decision makers. I want you to open your eyes and save Idu kingdom. Something like what, Father? <laughs> ah. It has no name. It has no face. But it's a kind of disease. <laughs> and I want you to stay away from that disease that has already affected the king makers. Open your eyes and save your kingdom. What kind of disease mm -hmm. are you talking about, Father? My son, I believe if you see it, you will know it. I want you to be wary of the decision makers. They have the disease already. Mm. Open your eyes and save the kingdom. Looking at us as if you don't know us again. We are the men in council, and we have come to see our king. There is a strange disease spreading through this land, and I want to make sure that I do not get contaminated by it. What strange disease are you talking about? With time, everything will be clear. But in the meantime, I would like to announce to you that the king is doing just fine. 
We want to see him. He is our king. We are the men in council. We can always come here to see him. I'm afraid you cannot see him now because the way is resting. Is that another way of saying you will not allow us to see our king? Uh -huh. You can always see the king in the chair. Yes, you are the men in council. But you cannot see him now because he is resting. And I do not want him to be disturbed. So if you must see him today, then you have to wait. Or you can go home, come back tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. Sorry, man. I have a council. I'll have to take my leave. No, can you see it now? Can you see? An arrogant boy who cannot give a little respect to king makers of this kingdom. You want to make your king. Go ahead! Go ahead and make him your king. It is taking longer than I planned. But I am expected to remain patient. How is his condition? Critical, my king. Very critical. That's my problem. If his condition has been as critical as I keep hearing, why has he not dropped dead already? Why? Mm. Music. You don't understand if he hardly mounts the throne again. Listen, Daisy. We know you as a powerful, wise, and patient king. If he wanted him dead, you would have done it long time ago. So let's be patient, my king. Let's be patient. How do I tell you that Nzana Asanya is too powerful for me? If I had my powers, I would have ended him without you even knowing about my plans. But that idiot is just too powerful. Hence, I wait for him to die a natural death. Ishe Obako. Ishe Ibangose. Both of you have proven over the years to be worthy of my trust. I sincerely appreciate the wonderful moments we have spent together. And then um, I wish to tell us that um, we are in this together. Thank you, my king. Thank I you. I make you this promise right here and right now, as I sit on this throne, that as I continue to reign as king here in Abanabo, both of you. For the level of confidence I have come to repose in, on both of you. Both of you shall never lack any of the things that make life sweet. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you. Thank we you, thank you. We thank you. We thank you. <laughs> we thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. been his dream ever since his grandfather was still king but the question is why does he want it why why ask if you're not bothered it is believed that Idu kingdom is the child of this kingdom mm -hmm. but in real life are they they are far bigger and better in all ramifications and to rub salt into injury, they, 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 they behave as if Abanabo uh, is non existent. Hmm. I believe that to be the reason they agitated and got their independence from us. Because they have always wanted to be independent people living on their own. But let us look at it properly. Has that independence done us any good? No. Idu kingdom is far bigger and better in all ramifications. 
and 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 look, 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 all those all those they act as if they are the head. And those small, small pitchcon pitchcon kingdom, eh, they regard them more than they do us. That is not good. And that is why I support Awezi Mbajaka. I support him in this move to bring them back. We have to bring them and put them where they belong. Hey, Bangus. Idu Kingdom will never agree to succumb and become our subordinate when it comes to political matters. Don't forget. What, what are you saying? Are you saying this mission is impossible? Okay. If this mission is impossible, why did you agree to work for Abanabo? Why did you agree to be a spy on Idu Kingdom? Why? As if you don't know. Nobody argues with the king. All I see in future is war. Idu Kingdom will never succumb without fighting. Are we ready for this? It seems you do not understand our Eze. Eze Mbajaka is a wise and patient man. Trust him to handle this in a more peaceful way. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, I do not intend to have a smile on my face until I have achieved my mission in the kingdom. And as someone working with me on that project, I do not want to see a smile on your face too. The brutality of a deadly woman is buried beneath her smiles. I still remain the ever beautiful Ogosi, the Ugona Puoko of Awanabo, the deadliest of all the deadly women that ever lived in our parts of the world. I know. And that is exactly why I am partnering with you on this. So why bother your ambitious brain with my smile? I have never failed, and I will not fail now. I like that. I sincerely like that. So how is your work going? Are the men in council in Edu submitting under your power? Not all, but majority, no. my king. No, 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 no. All of them. All the men that sit in castle in Edu Kingdom, all of them must submit under your power. That is what I want. Don't you understand? Their king is dying. I know. Really? How did you get to know? Are you ever under the illusion you are the only one working with me on this? Listen to me, you go. What we are discussing here is something that is of great concern to our Banabo kingdom. On that note, therefore, I wish to tell you, there are other credible men that are involved too. Well, my plan is simple. Once their king dies, we shall manipulate their land and one of our own who is equally their brother will emerge as their king. The weakest among them always add that. Not just any man will emerge king in a two kingdom. The one that must emerge king is the weakest among them. The one that is so weak that we can manipulate from here using all the mystic powers of Abanabo. I don't want to wait for another 15 years for their king to die. And you know yourself that I don't want to kill any myself. I know exactly what the plan is, my king. Trust Ugwabanabo to deliver. I have never failed. And I don't see you failing now. You must forgive the prince for what he did. 
He did nothing wrong, Your Highness. You needed the rest. We had no problems waiting. You are right, Ozzy. I need rest. Onyeze, are you saying we should go and come back tomorrow to see you? I know that while I rest, the do kingdom will be in good hands. Onyeze, if the medicine man is not doing a good job, we can get you another one to take care of you. Chika mm. Dibia mm. mm. is good in what he does. His medicines are relieving the pains on my body. But what he cannot do is to relieve the wounds on my soul. Even the best medicine man with his medicine cannot help either. Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. The kingdom needs you now. Virtually everything has fallen apart since you took here. The kingdom does not necessarily need me, but men like me. With the support of men like you, my son will do a good job. Uh, Mr. Mozo, I don't understand you. I don't. I am trying hard to understand him too. Oh! I don't expect two of you to understand him. Well, maybe we will, if you explain. You don't share the meat of an elephant while it is still alive. It is not done. Tell them. No, to explain. What I mean is that this meeting is uncalled for. Yes, our king is not dead. He will eventually die. Hmm? Yes. Why are all of you looking at me like that? Zumoza, you told me what the king told you with the Zoke came when he visited. Didn't you? Yes, I did. And so? Oh! You were supposed to be in that meeting. But your irrational behavior, which you are displaying now, did not allow you. It's okay, okay. You are entitled to your own stupid opinion. So, elders. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. The king himself knows he is ready to die. Yes. So, what stops us from holding this meeting? What? The earlier, the better. There is nothing wrong in making plans to die. Good. That is what we are saying. Amen. Wangwa. Amen. Our Lord, that let us not be here and be talking and talking. A stitch in time. Says nine. So let's hurry up. Exactly. Exactly. So, we are not ready to allow this throne to remain vacant more than the time stipulated for it. Oh. It is not good. We cannot keep that throne vacant for more than the stipulated time. Never. It is not good. I don't even see why. This should happen. I don't see why this should happen. Our king has a son whom we all know and will eventually mount the throne when the time comes. I still maintain that this meeting is uncalled for. Ude? Ude? Abodike will never rule this kingdom. Is it blunt enough for you to understand? Yeah. <laughs> 
Ude, you are evil. Is that blunt enough for you to understand, Stu? Have I ever bothered by your own stupid opinions? Oh, Elder, let us discuss like mature men. No, they have proven they are not mature at all. This is unbelievable. Where is this coming from? This is awesome. That boy is not fit enough to rule over a man like me. I don't know about you. I stand with you. Good. I agree with you too. I also consent. First, Abodike is not a boy. Abodike is a man. A man sensible enough to rule our kingdom. A man mature and wise as his father. You can only call him wise if only you are as foolish as himself. So his foolishness, which he mistakes as wisdom, becomes your wisdom too. What has Abodike done to you? Nothing. What has he done to you? Nothing, I said. I have had enough. I have had enough! As far as I know, this meeting never held. And I wasn't part of it. Oh, yes, sit down. Come back here. We can work things out. Oh, yes, let him go. Don't we, we, we don't need him. Anyway, we have tried to carry him along. I hope you will live long to see the arm you are causing yourself. <laughs> uh, elders, before we continue this meeting, is there anyone amongst you who wishes to join those two men? Eh? Good. We can now continue the meeting. about your father's condition. We all feel the same way, my friends. He's suffering. I hate to see my father bedridden. He will pull through. He's a strong man, remember? Let's go. What? You. I wish I could emulate your courage. You have a way of uplifting people by saying very few words. I didn't know I'd do that. <laughs> but thank you for the compliment. And my father said some really disturbing things. What about? It's about the elders and the meeting they had. to me. Your life is worth more than the throne. No matter what happens, don't let anybody get to you because of the throne. I'm not sure I understand. Your life is worth more than the throne. Never forget that. 
been my friend all your life and all these years you have never been this worried what troubles you the thought of losing him worries me I don't know what I would do without him fathers live for their son it is a cause if it happens the other way I know, I know Bonani, but I am scared. Not scared for myself, but scared for the people. My father is the only one who knows how to rule this kingdom, how to hold this kingdom together. I wonder what will happen to us if he is no more. He has a son that is like him. You must not disappoint him when the time comes. It may not be soon. You may not carry the crown on your head soon. But when the time comes, you will do better than your father. By this, you mean he will live longer? I am the eyes that sees the future, even when I don't want to. You are blessed, Abodigo. Blessed by the gods. And you too, Bonani. May you live long. My king! My... My king! I bow in greetings, my king. Ichiye Bangusi, I don't like that smile on your face. What have you been up to? Um, the, 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 the enemy of your peace, uh, Igwe, uh, is an aspire of Idu Kingdom. He has joined his ancestors. You didn't just say that. Um, my, my, my very good friend, Ibe, from the Duke Kingdom, he brought the news to me and I confirmed it myself. I think he's laughing. Of course. I am not expected to laugh so fast. How did it happen? They brought the news to me this afternoon. He died this afternoon. Easy, easy. Hey! Easy, Mbajiaka is laughing. Everybody, my king is laughing, no? Hey, 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 hey. Your Excellency, my, my, my king. Hey, can we have a festival so that everybody in the whole kingdom can laugh with you? Definitely. The death of the King of Idu is enough to trigger a festival here in Abanabo. But it is not going to happen yet. I, I want you to send words to Ugo. Ask her to come and meet me immediately. Quick. Okay, okay. My king. <laughs> Almost all of them, my king. I am taking it slowly. We don't have time to take anything slowly. Their king just died. Ugo, this is the best time to strike. Strike when the iron is red. 
I will do whatever you want. The period for the passage of a king in a do is four months. After four months, they are going to gather to crown an old king. Now I want you to get busy. Get the weakest among them. The king makers of a do must settle for the weakest among them. He is the one that must emerge as the new king of Edo. Why do you give so much credit to the late king's son? Allow them make him king. We can manipulate him. If I go more, I don't know I don't want to spend much time on that. But I want you to understand something. That I need a king that I can comfortably control. Abodike, the son of the late king, is not an option at all, for he has all the traits of his father. A cub must always grow into a lion. This is not right. We cannot do this to our king. It's okay, okay. I don't have a king. It's okay, okay. I don't have a king. Do you? Do you? I don't. Iguana Swanya might have passed on, but he's still my king. Two months after his says it. We are already discussing replacing him. It's okay, okay. Why do you always understand things wrongly? Why? We are not discussing replacing the king here. We are replacing him already. Yes. 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 Uh -uh. Elders. Elders of Widu Kingdom. I don't know who the closest to the throne decree that today Today, a new king must emerge for Edo Kingdom. Yes. Today and not tomorrow. Who is with me? Absolutely behind you. Very much. I too am solidly behind you. Anyone who is against us should take his leave immediately and never come back. Never to be a part of this prestigious group.
understand, Father. To start with, the funeral rituals for the late king is not yet over. Who discusses enthronement before the end of the four months? I am glad I have carried you along very well. Not so many maidens in this kingdom know this. Oh. How is Apodiki taking this? Knowing him, he will not agree to mount that throne at this time. Abodike would not have any problem with that, I suppose. You suppose? What does that mean? I knew it. I knew that the demise of Iguana Sanya will cause some things to stop working right. But Father, you are a member of the inner circle. No matter what happens, you must not let this abomination happen. Prince, I don't really know if I should be discussing this with you. You are my best friend. You can discuss anything with me. We all loved your father, the late king. And I know that you loved him too. As it is, I am only but a maiden. I'm not supposed to know everything about traditions. Talk more of discussing it. You sound bothered. And your lack of it worries me. Why are you not bothered, my friends? Why do you think I should be bothered? Well, maybe. Maybe it is no longer an abomination for the enthronement of a new king before the said four months that is supposed to be for the ritual rites. But do you think that your late father will be happy if you mount the throne before the end of his funeral rites? What are you talking about? What? The elders are not planning something already, are they? What are they? Say something to me. Please! Nobody is saying anything to me. But my source is accurate. It can be trusted. Abanabo is our mother kingdom. From it we emerged. In Abanabo, nobody nears the throne of the dead king before the end of four months. So what is your point? We are talking about a do kingdom, our kingdom. I am seeing nothing. If the elders are making such plans, we will eventually find out. Go home and rest. Remember, Nothing happens without the gods. We do not have answers to every question on our body key. My father trusted you. Both of you. How could you conspire with Nzeo Day to do this? Listen, listen our body key. 
There are certain things we don't have control over. Like coming to me with this kind of news? You wouldn't be happy if you are not informed. You needed to know before it happens. Okay, fine. Now you say the man you wish to make king is from a royal family. From a king-making family like you say. Yes. Even though my father told me that I would be the next king. I'm willing to forego that. But what about your respect for the late king? Can we not mourn him for four months like we should? We tried. You tried what exactly? You tried what? Not to be in, in Zelda's bad books? Uh, 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 Abu calm down. Just calm down and allow us to explain things explain to you. Explain what to me? My father was a fair man by all ramifications. A true son of the soil. He ruled this land with all fairness. Can we not treat him with the same fairness, even in death? Maybe we will talk when you are in control of your temper. It is done, my king. It is happening now as we speak. My messengers have not brought any brief on that. I am Ugoabana for my king. I always bring the good news. But... Indeed. <laughs> what does my king want me to do next? Come. Sit. Certain things are better discussed. Seated. This is the Ekpeke that we inherited from our forefathers. The same Ekpeke that empowers kings in the Du Kingdom. As the authority that we crown the new king today, I hereby submit under the inherited authority of this Ekpeke. I submit under the authority of the new king and under this inherited authority. I submit myself under the authority of the comic king by submitting to this inherited authority. I submit under the authority of this coming king by submitting to this inherited authority. I submit to the authority of the coming king by submitting to this inherited authority. Authorities of our ancestors, I hereby crown you Igwe Udensi II. Igwe! Igwe.
Yeah. 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 Abodike, you should have called some respect to the new king yes. by going to bow before him. Go on. You need to do that now. ever do to deserve such injustice? What? You know him, Obonani. He was a good man. He was the people's king. He never did any wrong to anyone. What is your concern? That the rituals were not fully performed for our late king, or that you were denied your right to take after him as king? How could you, Obonani? How did you not see this coming? You of all people, you see everything. How could you not see my father's death? How could you not see this injustice coming? Why did you say nothing to me? I am not in control of everything that I see. I always tell you that. Listen, you must leave your present abode. Go to your mother's people. Yes, that is what you must do. The palace is too odd for you at the moment. Besides, you have lost the throne to another royal family. Living with your mother's people will be fine. My people say that that a child can never forget the breast that gave it suckle. Oh yes, and he do. Maybe I am just beginning to understand the real meaning of that saying now. Oh yes, Odogu, Odogu Akataka. No kumba unetsi onwe. Oh yes. You are the great king of our mother kingdom. It is right to show you this respect. <laughs> exactly what I've been expecting from all the kings that rose in Edu to be doing all these years. <laughs> but strangely, strangely, they never saw the wisdom in doing that. Onyeze, this is one of the reasons I am here today. To apologize to you on behalf of my predecessors, who apparently forgot that 
if Abanabo Kingdom had never existed, that Edo Kingdom would not have had a name. Mm -hmm. You are just stating the fact. Onyeze. Yes. They never knew Nonye Buruchioza or Babu Omuyanosa. The people of Idu remain your loyal children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am here today to receive your blessing as the new king of Idu people. Why are you acting as if it is an abomination for a man to move in with his mother's people? You are not just a man. Abodike, you are a royal son of our land. Was. I was a royal son of our land. Until my father died and royalty was stripped off me. You two do not have anything to say. I see. I will take my leave now. Did you inform the king you are leaving the palace? Did you? I do not have to inform the king of my movement. I'm sure he was expecting it. And besides, his family will soon move in here. But he could try and get this right. We made Zeude the king because he can take care of our kingdom better. Moreover, he is from a royal family. part of the reasons why we rejected him. I think it is even better that he's leaving the palace. I'll be waiting for the king in the throne room. Onyeze I am very bothered. Bothered in the sense that traditionally you are supposed to be here on this courtesy visit. With your elders and castle. Igwe Odogu Odogu You said this yourself. That Igwe and Asanya failed to give Abanabo Kingdom the respect they deserve. <laughs> and even when it is not right, we gradually got used to it. <laughs> uh, you see. Those men you refer to as my elders served Anasanya for over 15 years. I need to confirm their loyalty to me before I bring them in. What do you think about it? You are going to make a wonderful king for Edo people. I am loyal. For you are a very wise man. I am lawyer. It is very glaring to me. I can see it clearly. I am lawyer. And I'm making you one promise here and now. Even as I swear on the sacred staff of Abanampo, that I shall give you all the assistance you need to succeed as King Giri I am lawyer. I am lawyer. Onyeze. Odogwa Kataka. I am lawyer. And I wish here and now to promise you too. And I promise that as long as I am on the throne, <laughs> Edo Kingdom will always submit to you as a king of our mother kingdom. Onyeze <laughs> Nidu. Onyeze Nidu. I am loyal to you. I am loyal.
Um, do you have any problem with my visit to him? No, not at all. The only problem I personally have with your visit to him is that Igwe Zana Sohanya was not comfortable with his Mbajaka. Why? Did no. you bother to ask him why he was uncomfortable with him? He, he didn't just trust him. In the history of his reign, has Ezembajiaka for once or ever hurt any of our own? I think it was just instinctive. Instinctive? Igwe Zana Swanya believed that Ezembajiaka was not happy with the Du Kingdom. Simply because Edo Kingdom was making progress on its own. Ezana Sanya was a great king. But he had his own limitations. We should not so quickly forget that we are the children of Abanab. Has a mother ever hurt her own children? Can a mother hurt? Her own children? All they need from us is friendship, cooperation. And that is the only thing the two kingdoms can benefit from each other. And I am here to see to that. Onyeze, there's a situation. So what exactly are you suggesting? We can use him now. The iron is red hot. Let us strike. I am certain you were the one that moved him to come and pay homage to me. He accepted by that singular visit that he is not even a king. That I am his king. And to be very sincere with you, God, I am very excited. By that, are you saying we should pause what we planned? Are you already okay with what we've achieved? What we have achieved so far is only a glimmer of the target and you know that much. We cannot rest now. The target is for us to harness the entire Edo Kingdom into our Banavo. That is where we are going. That should be the focus. And I want you to continue thinking on how we are going to achieve that. But father, is it not too early for this? No time is too early. Will you stop interrupting me? Apologies, father. Carry on, please. You need to know all you're supposed to know. You represent the first generation from me. You are my first son. And the tradition is that you rule after me. Then the throne goes out to another royal family out of the three so what you are saying father is that i will rule after you but my son will not rule after me exactly he will rule but not directly after you he will wait until the rotation of the throne comes back to Zana Sanya's family Ever since Idu Kingdom separated itself from the suppressing hand of Abanabo, it became very important that anyone that mounts this throne is a strong man. When you are an evidence of that, Father. Yes, my father gave me the required training. Same training I've been given to you all your life. You owe this kingdom the responsibility of passing the same training to your own son when he comes. 
the sustainability of the kingdom lies in the hands of the occupants of the throne. What are you doing here? That is not the right greeting for your king. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I have come to talk with you. What do you want to talk to me about? Running off to this place. Why? Why? Insulting my father, the great man of Idu. Finally taking the crown away from me. Why? The throne was not taken away from you. I am from one of the royal families of Idu kingdom. Your father should have told you that. Oh yes. He told me that. Good. Good. But do you know what else my father told me? No. He told me that the throne circulates amongst the three royal families. Two generations in a stretch. You don't have anything to say now, do you? You have to come back to the palace. You belong there until you build yourself a befitting heart. A heart that befits your status. A heart that I would have built as king, right? Now that I will no longer be king, how do I build that heart? I have always known you as a responsible man and a son of Idu land. Why are you sounding like someone who is not bred in royalty? What are you doing? Tell me, what exactly are you doing here? Because we all know that you do not care. You never cared. So stop holding unnecessary pretense. Go back home to your people. Rule them well. That is all my father ever wanted. If you want it that way, good and fine. At least, I've tried to help. I've tried to help. Be the one telling you about it. Exactly why I would not believe you. I know Agodike is broken at the moment, but it's not enough to drive him away. Mm. Okay, if you say so. I want us to change this topic right now. Chinozo. You're not joking. I joke a lot, right? Does it mean my father does not know? Because he hasn't said anything about it. Your father was there when the throne was taken from Abodike. Why would he care? Don't go there. Your own father was equally there. And Abodike is supposed to be your friend, right? Or did you forsake him when you learned he would never be king? Don't be ridiculous. You know Abodike is only but my friend. Mm. I have a man I'm getting married to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where could he possibly have gone to then? Oh, you're ready to know now.
<laughs> Look at you! What, what are you doing here? Are you not happy to see me? Oh, yeah, yes, but how, how did you find me? How did you find this place? Oh, you did not expect anybody would ever find you. Was that why you left? Hmm? You left. You left without telling me, your dear friend. Oh, have I stopped being one? Well, I... I had to do what was necessary. No. You had to do what was easier. You ran away. You ran away without telling me. Why? Look, I, yes, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell anyone I cared about because... It was easier that way. Listen to me. You have to come back home. You don't belong here. My mother's people are equally my people. Okay? They have, they have treated me well. They have welcomed me with open arms. I find peace and happiness here. Truthfully? You find, you find peace and happiness here? Listen, I'm okay. My dear friend, my darling friend, don't ask me to come back. Because I will not. These people, your mother's people, do they know the real reason you're here? Do they know you ran away from what you should have faced? Do they? You know, I once had a friend, a very, very dear friend. She told me, she told me my life was worth much more than the throne. And that friend happens to be you. Nobody can understand all that you're saying. But it still does not make it right. I do not have anyone to speak for me there. No one. What would you have me do? Come back to the palace and, and fight over the throne with, with Nzeode's sons? No. By the way, the title has changed. He is now called Ezu Densi. My apologies. I meant no disrespect to your king. Of course you know I was joking. Listen to me, Abuji. People are talking. Most of us know you are supposed to be king after your father. But not with you living here. How do you plan to fight for your right whilst here? I'm not planning to fight for anything. Eh? No. As a matter of fact, Bonani suggested, suggested that I come here. Bonani! I should have known. And he controls your life. How could he say such a thing? I came here only because I believed that I should. That is why I came here. And my mother's people are treating me just fine. They're treating me well. You see this hut? They gave it to me. My grandparents used to live here. And then their only son built another hut somewhere, so he gave this one to me. Listen, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. What about your man? I'm not sure he'll be very happy to hear that you came all the way here to see me. Amodike, it is you I am worried about. I don't see happiness with you living here. You are all alone. Can 
I visit you sometimes. If we're meant to see, they won't see. How is he? I tried all I could. Gave up the ghost. Hey! The Ghana. Great rock has fallen. The dark cloud has covered the skies of Hindu. Our ancestors. Yeah. You are not just an Ishir in this land. You are a great one Ishir. One that works very close with the king. There That's are certain things you cannot joke with. But, but my king, I wasn't joking with it. I know how important this thing is to you. How is this possible? We are talking about a man that was made king only seven days ago. How could he have died? But they, they, they said he took ill. And by the time they brought the mercy man to come and take care of him, he died. What is going on? Amara Mo. Ugo, don't tell me you have become this reluctant. Don't tell me that. My king, we had a plan. I was working on it. Is something wrong? The new king of Idu died this morning. No, he didn't. I didn't see it. Ugo, are you, are you responsible for this? What? You are, you, you are tired already. You want this entire process to, to end as almost immediately. Is that why you killed the man? I am not tired, my king, and I did not kill him. Never thought of it. But he died this morning. I was going to use this man. He was the best instrument available for me, Ugo. Why must he die now? <sighs> we will find a way around it. Listen to me. This is a very critical time. A very critical time in our history and in our mission. And I need you to find whatever information you can find. Why must he die after seven days? Why didn't I say it's coming? Listen, Ugo. You have to do me a favor. Go back to your deity and find out why she's no longer revealing things to you. Yes! Ask her to explain if there is anything she needs to go back to the powerful deity we used to know. Let her say it and everything must be provided. Let me tell you something. I must, as in, I must unless the entire Edo kingdom back into our Banabo. And I need your deity.
to achieve that objective. Now you go and call it work. this visit by the elders. You have never consulted me for anything since Ezin Zana Sonya died. Onan, please, it is not the right time. Do you even realize what has befallen us? Your newly king, crown king, died. So I heard. Seven days after mounting the throne. Seven days. Even the medicine man could not give the sudden illness that took him in him. That is why you are here then? To know the name for the illness that killed him? Yes! We have been to three other known seers in and out of Yudu. Since yesterday, this calamity befell us. None of them has been able to tell us what happened. Please, we want to know what is going on. And as it is, you are our last hope. Hmm? Yes. Of course, I will tell you what the gods have shown me. Which I assumed you already know. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. We cannot be moving about seeking for an answer if we had already gotten one. Uh, 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 please, we want you to assist us with one. What happened? Why did he die seven days after becoming the king of Idu? First, a home, and now, this piece of land. Mm. If you decide to move in with my family, the offer will still remain open. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have given me hope for another good life. Your mother. My sister will do the same and even more for me. Let's go. I still have some things to show you at home. Really? No. Men like you. Men like you are rare. Don't allow those tears to drop. For they are not necessary. You did the right thing to have come to your mother's family. The whole world will surely reject you. But your mother's family will never reject you. Like you do not understand what I just said. It is still fresh. Our late king, Igwe Nzana Swanya, died a natural death. And since when did it become our tradition not to give a befitting burial to a king because he died a natural death? 
even a child would have known that your rash actions and silly negligence will result to something that is evil as what is happening now. Bonane, are you saying that the mysterious death of our new king is as a result of... For five years, the throne must be empty. That is the vengeance that the spirit of our late king asks for. If not, anyone that sits on the throne must pay with his life. Mpona, you have an head over not just us, but on every other sphere in our land. We don't see these things with you. Please tell us, what do you mean? Not what I mean, but what the gods demand. Let Igwe Izama Sanya must be mourned for five years. After which, a new king sanctioned by the gods will emerge. Listen, elders. If I say anything today on this issue, know he that I am not the masquerade of it. Give my name to me. I figured you were not home. What are you doing here? I brought you good news. If the news is about Idu Kingdom or from Idu Kingdom, then I'm sure it is not good news. There is a dark cloud hovering about that place. I see no good coming from there. Dark cloud? Does it mean he's already aware? Are you okay? What news did you bring yes, from Idu? Yes, uh, Zelda is dead. Well, it's not exactly good news, but, but come to think of it, the gods are fighting for us already. The gods reacted rather very early. The kingdom just lost a king. Why exactly are you happy? Justice! Justice is finally done, Agbodike. Nzeo, they stole the throne from you. He was not supposed to sit on it. Thank you for bringing the news. Well, the elders of our land have gone to see Mbonani in search of answers. You and I know what the answer would be. It's time to come back home. No, I am not coming back. Listen to me, Abodike. The gods are with you. Our land needs you. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. Look, I live here now. I am happy here. And if the land needs me, you definitely will not be the messenger. <sighs> Listen, Amogi. I appreciate your friendship. I truly appreciate your, your care. But I'm trying to build something here. I'm trying to build a home. I'm trying to be happy. I would really appreciate it if you stop coming to visit. I need to be alone this time in my life. I hope you understand.
I'm coming from your hut. And your mother said that we left the hut since morning. Where have we been? I went to Mokbaleri to see a friend. Oh. We now have a friend at Mokbaleri. Do I know her or him? It's a he. And yes, you know him. Even, even when he lives far away at Mokbaleri, you still prefer his company to mine. Eh? I'm okay. Where did I go wrong? What has he done to you? What? Onyo Melonando, if we must go over this again, Abodike is only my friend. I have known him long before I knew you. He might have been your friend from the womb. I don't care. But I am your man. told me that Abodike was just a friend and nothing else. What are you driving at now, mother? If your friendship with Abodike is affecting your relationship with Onyo Melanando, then it's not proper. Let's not worry about non-issues, mother. My father not back from their visit to Bonan. He came back. He left for a meeting with the men. What was the outcome? He went to clear to me, but from the little he said before he left, I think he too may not have a king for a long time. Yes. What? Why is it that whenever we are close to achieving something, we we'll always, always encounter a stumbling block? Five years without a king? Who is willing to wait that long? My king, you haven't said a word. I've not said a word because I am a winner. Winners are those that don't give up. No matter the challenges that come, they don't give up. We needed to work with a king. We needed to capture Idu through their king. The man that they trust. The man that we can manipulate through the mystic powers of Awanabo. Or maybe we do not even need a king after all. Maybe we just move in and take over the entire land of Idu. And that is exactly what you have been avoiding all those years. Oh, you wanted to be diplomatic. Is violence the best way now? And who is talking about violence, my dear Ugabonambo? You know, most times, when you reason, it baffles me that your level of reasoning is not anything near your level in the spiritual. We shall wait for a do, but maybe not for five years. I have a plan, a plan to take over the entire Edo kingdom, and I need you. My dear Ugabanabo, I need you to execute that plan. So, why did you come back? Wow. 
are you asking for this? Because I know what I want. Look how they humiliated me. Is that okay with you? Do not lose focus. You are not here for the demands. Change of plans. I wish to keep them away from me. They have started and I know they won't stop. And you want to kill them? In the easiest way, yes! Please, do not say no. Please, do not abandon me now. Just give me what I wish for. I wish to crush those maidens. Just, just, just grant me this, please. Exactly. Exactly. I did not ask for any life, so I will do no such thing. Forget about the maids. Focus on the men. Get it like you already started. When all their minds are in our hands, you will find out that the maids are not endure for a while. 